Hi folks, we had firmly intended to show you the next step in the shelter logic building process today, but we decided uh, that we had some more pressing news, some more pressing things to discuss we wanted to get to first. And that's related to my health issues. Let's get started. Several episodes ago, I mentioned about having um, a stress test. I'd had some, some issues and I'd had a, a stress test and I passed that stress test with no problems. Uh, since then, I've had a couple other tests. Well, let me back up a little bit just to tell you a little bit more about my symptoms, some of the things that have been going on. Sometimes we see in comments about, uh, Tim will never pick up a shovel, he's lazy and all that. Well, yeah, I really haven't felt that great for, I don't know, a year or so probably. Seems to get a little progressively worse. Um, the, the symptoms really are that I just, I, I, the way I say it to people, I'm allergic to work. If it really gets to be some hard work going on, I can't last very long. I'm maybe only just a couple of minutes on a shovel and I'm, I'm done especially in hot weather. We had an earlier project where we looked for a water line. We dug all the way across uh, uh, the wedding venue, uh, across their driveway, looking for a water line. When we went to put in the T to the line that we thought was the issue, we got down and did a lot of hand digging, me and uh, my friend Rex. And about two minutes of that being bent over in that trench digging, and I was done. It was well over 90 degrees, and I just I wasn't doing good at all. I talked to you about the time when we were grinding stumps. In that case, I really wasn't working. I was turned around bending backwards. You know, I guess my belly was too big or something. I was bending backwards. But well, for whatever reason, that got me. And uh, the feeling is a feeling of lightheadedness, a feeling of almost faint. It happened a third time that I didn't tell you about, and that was the day the man lift was here with my friend Dick. We trimmed the trees in the back. If you'll watch that episode, early on I was up in the lift. At one point, I cut off the stump real low to the ground. I had to be bent over a lot, and I was cutting off the stump with the chainsaw. And um, at that point, after that, I, 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 I sat around for a few minutes and just kept feeling worse and eventually had to go lay down. That's the only way I kept from really fainting. And so uh, that's what prompted all these tests that we've been going through. My regular doctor, my primary care physician, I guess you would call it, uh, he finally referred me to a cardiologist. He said he wasn't sure that it was anything to do with my heart. I, I had never had any chest pains to speak of. You know, the, once in a while I would have what I would think was heartburn, but it wouldn't be while I was working. I never had any chest issues, no tightness of the chest, just, just didn't have anything like that. Uh, but when he went through the rest of the symptoms, it did seem familiar. Several of my friends, if you've noticed on our videos, are a little bit older than us. The home group that we're involved in through our church, um, we happen to have got hooked up well with some really quality people. We really appreciate them. A lot of them are a little bit older than us and they're more experienced. And one of my friends said, I had no chest pains. All of the tests that you just went through showed nothing for me. The only thing that showed I had an issue was the heart cath. So he said, go get you a cardiologist and get a heart cath. Well, my primary care physician referred me to the cardiologist and, and uh, the cardiologist wanted to run some more of these tests. And I, I strongly voiced my friend's opinion that I needed to get a heart cath. He says, okay, we'll go ahead and do that. So yesterday, about 24 hours ago, I went in for a heart cath and um, they found a blockage. Uh, they didn't tell me what percentage it was blocked. Uh, Christy looked at the picture and she said, it was blocked. Yeah. <laughs> so they put in a stent and 24 hours later I'm out here and I've still got the wounds to show for it. This is where they went in on my wrist uh, with the cath and I guess went somehow all the way to my heart. Oh, look, I've still got my hospital uh, tag on, Christy. Yeah. And my IV here. So I'm 24 hours out from having a stent put in. I feel great. And it just makes me so thankful. Uh, Many years ago, probably I believe 1992, 1993, somewhere in there, my dad had his first heart issues and he was, uh, I believe, 60 years old. He had triple bypass surgery. He was in the hospital for 10 days, I believe. Um, he was totally non-functional for six weeks, two months, really not able to, 
to do any. I'm just so thankful for the advances we've, we've got in medical treatment. They're able to do this stent, and the doctor really put me on no restrictions. Speaking of restrictions, some of you are gonna say, okay, no more cheeseburgers, Tim. Yeah, I know, but you know, the funny thing is, we talk about cheeseburgers all the time, and I do love cheeseburgers, but I don't eat nearly as many cheeseburgers as what we talk about on no, camera. No, you don't. You understand how this kind of thing goes. It is something I love, and uh, it's just, it's it's become kind of a thing on the show, and it's it's just fun to talk about and tease about. But I probably don't eat healthy enough. I'm sure that's the case. Um, and maybe I'll try to improve that a little bit. I just want to say that there's an enormous amount of family history for me. My uncle had a bypass surgery at 51 years old. My dad had it at 60. You know, it's, it's, it's not unique in our family at all. When speaking to the cardiologist about this afterwards, he emphasized that family history is probably the predominant issue, really, when it comes down to heart issues. I mean, if you have a family history of it and you're feeling lethargic in any way, uh, go get it checked out. And I just don't know that the stress test necessarily will find anything. I knew, and Christy knew, yep. and my friends around me knew that I wasn't performing where I used to perform. Because of that, rather than go ahead and spend the next two or three years in denial and just get weaker and weaker and weaker, I'm so thankful that I've went and had this done. I mean, 24 hours later and and I feel really good. Now, I need to go rest and I need to not, you know, overdo it here for the next little few days and all. Uh, but I really do feel good. In some ways, I think I already feel better. On the topic of not pushing myself too hard, I want you to notice that we've got the 120R mechanical self-leveling or MSL loader right now. Just got that uh, the day before I had the stent. And I need to do lift capacity testing on it. I really shouldn't be lifting around on these 100 pound weights and 70 pound weights and 40 pound weights to put them in the bucket and do that testing. I could really use someone's help if somebody lives close and could uh, help us maybe next Tuesday afternoon um, or Wednesday morning or Wednesday all day, somewhere in there, that would really be helpful. I would love some somebody that's strong enough to, to be able to to cart around some 100 pound weights and, and uh, throw them around like a youngster, like I probably shouldn't be doing right now. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. So uh, contact us, Facebook Messenger, email, in the comments below, um, whatever it takes. We just probably need one, one good strong guy that's not gonna, well, send me back to the hospital. Really appreciate that. Like I said earlier, we have another episode coming up on the building of our Shelter Logic shelter. Um, we've actually got two episodes coming up. Um, it took us two episodes to get the uh, canvas all put on the way we wanted to get it put on, and it needed to be put on. So we'll show you both of those. I also have the self-leveling loader. We have another piece of technology that we need to show off in the next week or so. I'm incredibly busy. So stay tuned, we've got some good stuff coming up. Folks, I appreciate you guys sticking with us. We try to be transparent about what's going on. Uh, we don't probably tell you every personal thing going on in our lives, but uh, a situation like this, I just wanted you to know. You know, hopefully you won't pick on me too much in the comments because I'm too fat or because I'm too lazy or because I'm whatever. Uh, but I just wanted you to know that, um, you know, that's, that's my issue. If you're having similar issue, if you're just feeling fatigued when you work hard, go get it checked out. Again, thanks for sticking with us. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim.